in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today we are going to talk about medium voltage capacitor bank, operation and voltage, and we'll use simulator. In our example, each phase will have six capacitor units and divided into two sections. Each section will have three capacitor units with one neutral. So we have two neutral points as we can see in the photo. In this photo, we can see the neutral cable um, connecting the other two phases and going to CT, as we can see in the next photo. Here in this photo, we can see the two neutral cables. One is connected to the frame of the capacitor units and going to connect to B1 of the neutral uh, CT and the other neutral cable connecting to the B2 of the neutral CT and one cable coming from B2 in the neutral CT connecting to uh, B1 of the neutral VT and only any one is connected to the frame of the capacitor units we have 13.8 kV bus A and capacitor bank feeder, circuit breaker, current and voltage transformer, and for capacitor bank component, we have reactor, current limiting reactor, uh, 3.49 millihenry, then connected to capacitor units, C1 and C2, C3 is connected to neutral A, neutral 1. And C4, C5, C6 connected to neutral 2. And same connected to yellow phase and blue phase. Here we can, we have uh, neutral CT and neutral VT. We can read primary current and secondary current. Also, we can read primary volt and secondary volt. For this block, we can read uh, line. Uh, line uh, current and volt and also megavar for the capacitor bank now uh, we have uh, also switches just to control uh, capacitor units in our simulation so all the six capacitor units already in service just when I will make run I will make main circuit breaker on Grease run. Okay, just to make main circuit breaker on. Now we had we have eight kV and the current and megavar taking or given by the capacitor bank to the system uh, neutral voltage and current zero was this normal condition to start abnormal conditions we have failure in one capacitor unit we have drop in line current and in neutral CT now start to read some current also we have unbalanced voltage if we drop neutral 2 sorry capacitor unit 2 voltage and the current of the neutral of the unbalance increases we can drop unit 3 also we can see neutral unbalanced voltage and current increased If we need to make a phase loss, we'll drop all the six capacitors. So now we have line current zero for phase A and the other phases reading neutral unbalanced current zero but neutral unbalanced voltage is the maximum. Now our system is normal. We'll try external fault. 
here our fault is to ground fault just this now is working so we will make fault on we can see unbalanced voltage even in capacitor bank as this can make false tripping if we remove the fault now everything is normal we can try this to his fault and then apply we can see now also uh, unbalanced voltage in our system finally I'm not the end thank you for watching my video and if for any discussion you're welcome please my contact as shown don't forget to subscribe my channel to hit notification for my coming videos